brought people back from the dead. And in fact, even the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus says in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, for I seek not my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. So Jesus shown his dependency. All of the miracles that he performed, it was, by, it was by the Father's will, it was not his will. And when he resurrected Lazarus from the dead, what did he pray? He said, Father, I know you hear me. I know that you always hear me. So that shows that Jesus, whenever, whatever miracles that he performed, he did not do it by himself. He did it only by the permission of the Father. And that's very consistent with the Quran. As Allah says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 49, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he used to perform miracles, he used to heal the born blind lepers by God's permission. Um, so he did miracles as well. We believe in that. However, this is by the permission of Allah, bi idnillah, by the permission of Allah. So that does not show you that Jesus is God. If Jesus was God, why does he need permission from the Father? But was he the only prophet? Was he the only prophet that performed miracles? Or didn't Moses perform miracles as well? Yes, but I think maybe it's because Jesus is fulfilling the Ten Commandments. Following them, uh, oh, you believe to follow the, 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 the commandments, yeah, yeah? yeah? But Christians today say that they don't need to follow the, the, the commandments because uh, J Jesus died for our sins. This is, this is the Pauline teaching. Yeah, yeah, but um, I think he said that to follow these ones. So you agree to follow the, the, the Mosaic law, to follow the Torah, correct? Uh, no, no. Uh, well, at least some of the Ten Commandments, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, but do you believe that you have to follow the, t the commandments? Yeah, well, I'm going to mean like uh, uh, murder, uh, and, uh, adultery. But do you believe Christ died for your sins? Uh, yes, but I believe like in, uh, I've got the book, but like the book of, uh, uh, oh, let's see. I, I, I forgot that. No problem, no problem. Yeah, but then if Christ died for my sins, why do I need to keep the commandments? That's the whole reason why Paul came and said Christ died for our sins. He nailed the cross for us. He well, nailed the law for us. There's no need. That gives you the ability to be the yes, yes. Okay, for what what sins did Jesus die for you? Um, I guess because of sins. Yeah, all. <laughs> What's that, sorry? All, all sins. So. All sins. So, yeah. therefore, you don't need to follow the commandments? Some Christians do say that, though. They say that you say twice. Oh, this is mainstream Christians. Yeah. But if you look at the if you look at the early church history, um, the if you look at the Jerusalem Council, yeah. the Jerusalem Church, they were the early Christians. They followed the Torah. Yeah, yeah. James, the just, he was the leader of the Jerusalem Church, and he was the half brother of Jesus. Yeah. And he, in fact, he rebuked Paul because he said to Paul, "You are coming up something new to the Gentiles." Yeah. And he has to renew his Nazarite vow. Why does he need to review the Nazarite vow if he was if he was a Jew in the first place? So that you could see that James. Peter they, um, and Barnabas, they all, um, they all um, were against Paul. Yeah. You understand? What Paul says is, you don't need to follow the commandments. Just believe that Jesus died for our sins and got resurrected. James is just to say, no, your works have to be there. If you read in James chapter 3, in his letter, he said very clearly, with faith comes with works. You have to follow the, the, the Old Testament, uh, you have to follow the Torah. This is very consistent with Islamic teaching. Because Allah says in chapter 61 verse 6, وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Allah, Allah says, when Jesus the Son of Mary said, O children of Israel, indeed I am the messenger of Allah sent to you to confirm what is mentioned of the Torah. Yeah. Yeah? So this is very consistent. This is very consistent. When you look at the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Bible, in the Gospels, nowhere does he mention that he is God. Nowhere did he say, I am God, worship me. Nowhere did he preach the concept of Trinity. So who are the Christians following? Jesus was circumcised. If you read in Luke chapter 2, verse 21. Uh, well, well, I believe in the Bible, so it's no longer necessary. And I agree. Why? I agree with you, 100%. I agree with you. Why? Because Jesus was not sent to you. Because he mentioned the Gospel of Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Jesus said, I have not been sent but unto the lost of the house of Israel. So his message, his preaching was only for the Israelites. That's the reason why Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is the seal of the prophets. He is the final prophet that is sent to not only for the Arabs, for everyone, including the Jews and the Christians. Yeah. And if you look at the message that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came with, it is just a continuation of the message of Jesus, which is worship Allah alone. Do not ascribe any partners with him. Yeah? Do good works. Yeah. So therefore, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he is not against Christ. He is with Christ. The Christians today are not following the teachings of Jesus.
So if we can establish that Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet, then you, you have to agree, you have to follow his teachings. Yeah, I mean, yeah? Um, I, do, I do think a lot of the reason, a lot, a lot of Muslims will say one of the reasons that uh, you know, they're making a pill that Islam is more real because you look at Muslims and Muslims are a lot more fanatical, they're a lot more staunch in their beliefs, so they're, yeah, not, they're yeah. not pushing yeah. things that are on Islamic and on Christian, yeah. you know, for example, like you have Christians who support LGBT and of course. concede on all of these like, social issues. Yeah. Uh, like, but I'll tell you why. I, 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 I'll tell you why it led to this point. Because many Christians became atheists, yeah. and that's what led to them, you know, pushing their secular liberal values. I don't think it's particularly Christians that are vulnerable to this. I think okay. that if, if uh, you know, history had gone differently, and you know. Uh, the West would have been Muslim and okay. the East would have been Christian. Okay. I think that the Muslim Muslim would be uh, you know, doing the same if we would be going to atheism and yeah. doing the same things. I think it's but what, what I would say to you is the most important, the most important uh, message that I want to uh, convey to you is to worship God alone, your creator. Yeah? Yeah. Do not ascribe partners with God. Do not say that Jesus is God. Yeah. Yeah? Because Jesus never preached Trinity, never preached that he was God. And in fact, how can you be, look, you agreed with me the definition of Allah, do you remember? There's one and only, he's self-sufficient, does not require eat or drink, he's not born. Let's apply this to Jesus. Was Jesus self-sufficient? Uh, well, I mean, well, I mean, yes, he can make like bread and stuff. Oh, sorry? He can make like bread and stuff. So. He can, sorry? <laughs> oh, okay, yes, he, oh, no, 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 what I'm saying, Allah says, Allah who summoned, that God is self-sufficient. He's not in need of anything, rather his creation is in need of him. Was Jesus self-sufficient? Yeah, by God's permission, by the Father's permission. Yeah. It shows dependency. That means he's still in need of the Father, right? Yeah, okay. But does, did he used to eat and drink like us? Um, well, yeah. Yeah, so imagine what, what, what happens when we eat and drink. Where do we need to go? Oh. To the bathroom. Does that befit the majesty of God? That he has to defecate and... Exactly. Yeah? So that only shows exactly. So you agree now that Jesus cannot be God? Because if he was God, he should be self-sufficient. I'm not quite sure. I mean, I just don't have all the arguments. No problem. I'm not expecting yeah. you to change your mind or anything. Yeah. What I'm here, I'm just here to convey the message of Islam. Yeah, I, That's yeah, it. Definitely like Islam quite of course, brother. Of course. No problem. No problem. We, we don't I expect mean, you to change overnight. No I problem. Mean, <laughs> was the yeah. So was Jesus born? This one? Was Jesus born? Did you have a birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Does no, God have a birthday? There's no, there's no explicit birthday. It's not like, uh, it's not on Christmas Day. It's, uh, you know, it's not even Christmas Day. What, what, what year are you? What, what year are we in? What year are we in? What's the year? 2023. Yeah. Exactly. 2023. Do you know when it's backdated to? Birth of Christ. Yeah. But you believe Lamia Lid Walamulad, he begets not, nor is he begotten. Was Jesus born? Yeah. Is God born? Exactly. So you cannot have you cannot have a person who has a beginning, but at the same time he has no beginning. I think you've got to brush up in your theology a bit. I'm not a Christian, but I think Christians would say that Jesus has always existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. But he cannot always exist. This is this is what you, what you are appealing to is the is the is the church fathers, is the Christian creed, like Athanasian creed, right? Uh, the Council of Chalcedon in the year 451, they they discuss about the personhood. But this exactly what I'm trying to demonstrate here, the teachings of Christianity are not the teachings of Jesus. Do you understand what I mean? So I'm really curious. Why don't you give out like you say that Islam Muslims follow the Bible? Why don't you give out Bibles? No, we don't follow the Bible. What we do, we use the Quran as what a. You, what's, a what's, what's your view on the what's the Muslim view? There are some remnants of truth. There's no doubt because we do accept that there were previous revelations. How um, do you sort of go into the Bible and say, well, James says this or Matthew says this? If you don't actually. That's a very good question. So Allah says in the Quran in chapter five, verse forty-eight, that the Quran is a muhaminin. It has the authority over the previous scriptures. Yeah. So we use the Quran as our standard against the previous scriptures. So whatever po portions of the Bible agrees with the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet, we agree with that. Anything that contradicts against the Quran, against the, uh, against, the uh, against the Quran, we reject that. Anything that is silent, we neither affirm nor do we negate. Now, why do I say? And you may say to yourself, yeah, but this is bias. Like, what, you're, you're assuming that the Quran is um, that is the word of God. Yeah, that is not 
you know, it's not corrupted. But if you look at the, the Quran, it makes bold claims. Yeah, first of all, the Quran mentions in chapter 15, verse 9, Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzana dhikra wa inna hu Allah says, Indeed, it is we, Allah, it is we who reveal the reminder, which is the Quran, and it is upon us to preserve. So Allah guarantees the preservation of the Quran. And the Quran is mass, mass memorized by millions of people from cover to cover. I can even bring you a six year old kid, a 10 year old kid that memorized the whole Quran. In fact, let's do a test. I want us to do a test, yeah? Does, has anyone memorized Surah al Naba? Chapter 78, yeah? Anyone? Okay, let's. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin, yeah? Surah al Fatiha. Okay, now you will see that they'll correct me. Okay, I don't know them. I don't know if they trust me or not, but watch this. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين بارك الله فيك there you go yeah so what happened is what a ball بارك الله فيك بارك الله فيكم yeah so what what I'm what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that look how come the Quran has been preserved for more than 1400 years when it's supposed to be, there should be changes. There's no changes. My problem is I'm not going to be convinced by the Quran. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. Okay, first I'm dealing with a Christian, then an atheist. I can speak to you afterwards. No problem. No problem. But what I would say to you is, if you have any more questions, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, you know, at least just think about Jesus. Like Jesus cannot be God because if you agree that God is self-sufficient, He does not require to eat or drink, then Jesus cannot be God. You cannot have the person who eats at the same time he needs to eat. And it does not befit God to defecate. It does not befit God. Oh, I just want to question. Sure, sure. In terms of if all humans have got sun, then you know, why, why is it that ah, okay. some people are more privileged to get into heaven than others in terms of, uh, you know, for example, as you were raised by a religious family. Okay, good question. So you are, you're much more likely to be religious than he was. Good question. Yeah. Good question. Allah says in the Quran in chapter 67 verse 3, Allah says it is He who created death and life to test which of you are best in deeds. So this life is a test for the hereafter. So just because a person is born in a Muslim family, that does not guarantee them to go to paradise. Okay? Because uh, first of all, is this Muslim family following the Quran? No, they're not. Because they're following the Quran like strictly. Okay? Because uh, first of all, is this Muslim following the Quran and Sunnah like strictly? Is he, uh, is he upholding the teachings of Islam, right? So this is a test. I was born in a Muslim family, yeah? I'm born in a Muslim family. When I was 15 years old, I was on the verge of leaving Islam. Why? Because it is natural from a human perspective to have all of these existential questions. Why am I here? What is the purpose of my life? Why are there so many different religions, right? Then I investigated, yeah? I, I read the Bible, I read the bits of the Hindu scriptures. But when you filter it, the only religion that stood out to me is Islam. Because if you look at all other religions, no other religion claims that this message is for me. This message is for a particular location, ge geographical location. But Islam is the only religion that makes an active claim that the message is for me. So therefore, I look at the, the claim that the Quran makes and the Prophet Muhammad, and I came to the conclusion that the Quran is a speech of Allah and Muhammad is the message of Allah. Yeah? And, it's, and Allah says in the Quran that mankind was but one community. Meaning that mankind originally was upon one religion, but but after the knowledge had come to exactly. So when we say Christianity, Christianity was is not a religion. Christianity is centered around one person, Jesus. Yeah. What was the religion of all the prophets and messengers? I ask you this question: What was the religion of Abraham? Because they claim mm -hmm. belief in God. Belief in God. Do you know what's that in Arabic? Do you know what's that in Arabic? Someone who believes in strict monotheism. It means Hanif. He was a Hanif, a Muslim. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Hanif is a person who. Yes. Yes. So this. So so Hanif is an individual who d did not have a religion, but they believed upon the oneness of God. And uh, and the Muslim is a person who submits to the will of God. So was Ab so Allah says in the Quran in chapter three verse sixty-seven that Abraham was not a Jew nor was he a Christian, but he was a strict monotheist, a Muslim. So. The Christians and the Jews, they claim that they're upon the Abrahamic faith. I asked them a simple question. Was Abraham a Jew? Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, Judaism is the modern faith that actually came after the Exactly, exactly, it's, uh, exactly. Modern, modern Judaism is based on the Talmud, which, uh, <laughs> the Babylonian Talmud, which is after Jesus. Which is after, and these are the works of the rabbis, right? So, so actually, Christianity is 
Yeah. Yes. And, and also Abraham cannot be a Jew because the, the, the term Jew was named after one of the sons of Jacob. Yeah, Judah. So he, he cannot be a Jew. Yeah. Abraham cannot be a Christian because he was not there at the time of Jesus. What was his religion? Islam. Submitting to one God alone in worship. Ethnicity wise, Jesus was a Jew, but his religion was Al Islam. Okay? So have a think about it. Have a think about you know the message of Jesus in the Quran. You know, it's very consistent, it, it aligns with your heart and your mind. That Jesus is a human prophet, he was a messenger of God. In fact, he was one of the five greatest messengers. Yeah, we, we held him very high up steam. But do not go over that. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look. I mean, have you have you got a copy of the Quran? Okay, sure. I mean, you're more than welcome to take any leaflets if you want. But uh, if you have no more questions, it's a pleasure speaking to you. Yeah. Nice good talking. Yeah, nice talking to you. Thank you very much. Have a good day.